I got a question in from Mike Ammo, Mike Ammo on Twitter. He had seen our Hyundai Elantra Sport episode, and he poses a great question, especially to a cheapskate like me. Uh, his question is this. He's trying to decide between two cars. Obviously, one of them is the Hyundai Elantra Sport. The other is a used BMW 3 Series F30. Now, this is a, kind of a tough thing for me to answer. And just as an aside, whenever you guys want me to answer a question for you of what car should you choose, and you give me like two or three choices, uh, I would always ask you to give me the answer to the following questions. Where do you live? Uh, what are you doing with the car? And how long do you want to keep it? In the case of Mike, he lives in Cleveland, Ohio, so he's got some weather issues. Uh, he is daily driving the car, but interestingly, he said that he wants an excuse to take back roads, like this guy. Uh, and then number three, and this is the most important, he wants to keep the car four to five years. Now, if, if Mike, you had said you want to keep the car five plus years, wouldn't have even thought about it, I would say, buy the Hyundai. And I would argue maybe wait a year, buy the Hyundai used. Again, I'm cheapskate. I like someone else paying depreciation. But because you, you're looking to keep the car four to five years, I would say do the BMW in this case. And there's a couple of reasons why I suggest the BMW. Uh, number one, someone else has already paid depreciation. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but the, um, one of the dirty secrets of the car world is BMWs and Mercedes have horrifically bad resale. Like I was just doing some research for a coming episode of Ask Moto Man, which I'm probably going to be yelling at you guys a lot for. Um, and I, I had to look at residual values, and you probably can see where I'm going with this. And I looked at the residual values of not like S-Class coupes. I looked at the residual values of C-Classes, 3 Series, that kind of stuff. And uh, a 2014 uh, Mercedes C-Class that had a retail price of like $42,000, three years later is worth $16,000. Horrific resale. So uh, this is one of the reasons why it's just getting the BMW because the BMW, you can get a lot of value by buying a used one like two or three years old. So I would suggest getting the used one, maybe not three, I would probably suggest you get a two-year-old one, and here's why, and this is the next reason why I suggest this car, is I don't want you owning a six, seven, eight-year-old BMW. I, I, I'm not mad at you getting a five-year-old one, but if you're gonna buy one, buy a used one, and buy a used one and get a good extended warranty. Uh, in another Ask Moto Man, I suggest you guys look at Geico because you can get extended warranties from insurance companies and a bunch of them offer them, so have a look at that. And the combination of a car that you have looked at by a mechanic that you trust, plus a good, solid uh, warranty that will take care of major issues with the vehicle, major breakdown, major parts, that kind of stuff, I think you can easily drive that BMW to six, maybe seven years old. At that point, I think you probably want to get out of it. And I think you would probably prefer driving that car over the Elantra on those back roads because at the end of the day it's a rear drive car as opposed to a front drive car and don't get me wrong love the Elantra but in terms of I've driven on some of the roads outside of Cleveland Ohio I think you'd have a great time with the BMW so hopefully that answers your question so with that I now want to turn this question around to you guys and I want you guys to help answer Mike's question and let's be very specific about the parameters here your only choice is this a new Hyundai Elantra Sport which is about, what, $24,000, like the one that we drove in the episode, or Mike's choice of an F30 BMW 3 Series, or because I'm generous, I will add in a couple of other choices, like a uh, used IS, or a used ATS, or perhaps another choice that somehow fits in that same parameter of about twenty dollars to $25,000 used is a sedan and will be somewhat reasonable for a guy living in Cleveland, Ohio. And don't just tell me which one you would choose. I want to know why you choose it, what region of the world you hail from, and most importantly, what do you currently drive? Let me know in the comments below or via our social media, Moto Man TV, all one word, Moto Man TV, all one word, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And with that, I want to leave you with two things. Make sure you download our fancy new mobile application, which you can download for free at Apple iTunes and Google Play. And, oh, by the way, we are live on five, count them, five international airlines. And number two, I want to leave you with a fun fact, and this is more of a visual fun fact. So I don't know when this is coming out, 
and if you have seen, but we have an episode in uh, season seven that is of the 2017 Porsche 991.2 Turbo. Let's just say I'm having a very good week this week. Um, so I am going to give you a little bit of a pop quiz. Um, so here's the Porsche key, and uh, here's the Porsche key. Which one is the key, and which one is the USB drive? Answer below. Which one is the key, and which one is the USB drive? Answer below or via our social media. Till I see you next time. Bis später.